It's Thursday, you know what that means. Ellie McHugh from the Grand Strand Humane Society is here and she has a very sweet kitty with her. Tell us about her. Uh, this is Bella and she's just an absolutely beautiful calico cat. Beautiful markings on her and she's, she's less than a year old. Her fur is just so soft and she's purring. What a, what a, a beautiful cat. She's been very tranquil, just kind of laying here and just enjoying being pet for a taking, little while. Taking it all in, being the star today. And with this cold air, we want to talk about the, what you need to do with your pets when it is this cold outside. Well, first of all, keep them inside in this yeah. type of weather, especially too cold. If, but if, you're, if you have a dog that's outside, in a, hopefully in a kennel or a, one of those igloo houses, please put you know blankets in there, straw, whatever, to keep them warm and always have a bucket of water for them. Yeah, make sure that water is staying fresh because with 20 degree temperatures out there, Freezing. that can freeze up pretty quickly. Certainly don't want to leave them with a frozen attempt at uh, drinking some water. That's right. And we also have a, a lunch of love. It's, it's about three and a half weeks or so away. Yeah, December 13th at Hard Rock Cafe and they're going to do a delicious lunch for us. We're going to have three choices for $10 plus a soft drink. Uh, just a wonderful way for the shelter to make some money. I can tell you one thing, those burgers are really, mm -hmm. really good. All right, so the more information on the Lunch of Love, if you want to adopt this sweet kitty here, or you want more information on what you may need to do with uh, your pet when it comes to the cold outside, all that information is up on the screen on how you can contact the Grand Strand Humane Society. Also, they'll take any donations at this point as far as cleaning supplies, uh, pet litter, cat, a cat litter, or pet food, as well as blankets, blankets and such yes. to keep the animals warm that don't have forever homes yet. But let's help, and let's help to find those uh, pets at the Grand Strand Humane Society, a forever home. Thanks, Ellie. Thank you.